more any more any welcome to another mafia madrilla video thank you so much for clicking play and thank you to the new subscribers <laughs> hashtag road to 15 Hey, we're almost at 15k guys uni and thank you to everybody who said they're gonna start watching the videos the ads because we know your girl needs it the point is we are trying to get my clothes from australia to south africa and i have two bags each bag is gonna cost me 300 australian dollars and right now we are on 300 dollars on youtube like youtube revenue so i need another 300 dollars so we can get those bags here and i don't have to buy new winter clothes we know how south african winter can get and cape town wind can get so please uh, please 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 watch those ads and thank you thank you thank you for subscribing and we're gonna get to 15k so to get to the point of the video yeah and i'm planned it i got some stuff from Shein and i got very excited because your girl bought a car so i was like let me get some accessories for my new car so i'm excited to share them and i hope you enjoy this video i also am going for lunch at the nines is it the nine or the nines in c point with a friend of mine who's kind of like my mentor because she's been in the industry for way longer than me and if you watch the previous vlog I told you guys about a job offer that I just got in Johannesburg. So I just need to talk to someone about it. Someone who's in the industry, someone older than me. And guys, like the Bible even tells us to go to our elders for wisdom. So I try to practice that and not think I have all the answers figured out. But obviously with someone that you trust and has experience. So I'm going to meet up with her. And then the third thing I want to chat about quickly um, is buying a house so apart from buying a car i'm also in the process of buying a house well i bought a house so a lot of people in the comments were also asking me like my advice and how i went about it guys Zini, i'll tell you this there's so many things i didn't know about buying a house that now i know about buying a house and i'll share my two cents on it and how i went about it and maybe it will be helpful to you and then i'm going to gym because girl needs to get in a shape it winter guys is your time too and also my sister's wedding is coming up i just want to look nice in my dress i want to look snatched okay so yeah that is what is going to be in this video today so let's get into this video right um my niece is helping me report this and it's very funny <laughs> is like a travel bag of which i think it's a cute small one oh, oh. oh hi guys can you tell i'm not used to unboxings okay so it's a small travel bag of which i think i will put in some small things i need like girl things for the car um let me show you what i'm talking about got some stuff from clicks that I think I will eventually put in here. So, like hand sanitizer, um, and then I got Listerine. Like, then I got. Do you know how much we need these things? These are like the bands for your hair, and we always lose them. So I feel like if my car has them, I won't lose them. And then I'll put in some other stuff as well. Things like you know my makeup. Like I want to have a makeup bag for the car so it will look like that and then what is what goes in here oh oh okay so it's another like part of this okay so it looks like this so that's what i'm thinking just um makeup i think is important uh scrunchies and hand sanitizer I'll figure out what else I'll put in here, but these are things I definitely want in my car. In my car, so that's the first thing I got. Okay, the second thing I got is this 
key cover for my phone so it looks cute and it has like a key ring to go with it but if i want me i am not sure just yet i will figure that out at a later stage so that's the second thing i got the third thing i got this is very extra i'll be honest with you it's a mirror and i know you're gonna say like oh your car has a mirror but like it's not the same it's not the same i find so this is a mirror that you put against your the thing that protects you from the sun so you put it there and then it's just a bigger mirror for us ladies who do our makeup in the car i really really like it i just have to take off this thing Madrid. and it also lights it lights up so if you plug it into the car there's like a thing here you plug it into your car and then it charges and then it lights up at night if you want to do your makeup you can do your makeup and your mirror just like glows something like that it's extra i know but i'm excited for it as you can see this girl is doing that you see this girl is doing that it's a vanity mirror so that's the next thing i got My stomach has been acting up this morning i went to clicks to get some medication but it doesn't seem like that's working and i'm supposed to take the pills four times a day okay so this is just to clean the car clean around the steering wheel clean around the dashboard clean around my glossy screen like you know just to get dust off it it's nice and fluffy just to clean so I'm going to be using this a lot because already in here it's dusty because Cape Town wind is doing the most. I'll do a TikTok on this, but I always post on YouTube <laughs> first, then TikTok. And mainly because, I'll be honest with you, it's a little bit hard for me to post on TikTok nowadays because my life is still in transition. So I don't have much to post about. And remember, when I opened TikTok, I was moving to Australia. So my content was me, South African, living in Australia. Now that I'm back home, I don't know what to post. So tell me if, what to post on TikTok. But I know what to post on YouTube now, which I didn't know what to post on YouTube when I was in seven. Files. Then the next thing I got is this for tissues. So I got some tissues. So you basically put your tissues here inside you wanna get close it up like that and then you can pull your tissues out like a tissue box or when people sneeze in your car or when you have to blow your nose i think having tissues is important oh i also got face wipes which I'm going to put in here. Like if I go to the gym, which I'm being, I've been doing, and I need to like use some wipes and I'm too sweaty or whatever. Wipes are here. Okay. Then, <laughs> I don't know why I thought these were going to be cute, but I still think they're cute. I don't know how they're going to look in the car. Okay, they look weird now. I know they look like <laughs> they look weird, but yes, these you put you see where you put your cup in the car. So where you put your cup, yeah, next to you. So you they're coasters. Yo, umgel gum. They're actually coasters. So you put them there where you put your cup holders, and then you can put your cup on top of them. They just make if they're coasters that's exactly what they are and they just glammed out that's all that's why they silver as you can see majority of the stuff is black because my car is gray and black on the inside so that's why this <laughs> did i get two i got two of these i'll quickly show you when i i drive just now so you put these at the back of your driver's seat and your passenger seat okay 
So you put them at the back. And what you do is the people who are sitting at the back or you, you can hang your bag. Does that make sense? It's kind of yeah. perfect. I'll be there. No, babe. No, in a in a land. That give me the LV. I'll bring your pants. Oh. Okay. So basically, this is what you do. You hang your bag. So instead of putting like your bag at the bottom, like is anzi when you're driving, you can hang your bag. That that is what it is people it's cute so i got two of them so one for the at the back of the passenger and then the back of the driver so i think they're also going to be cute nice detail when people walk into the car they're just like oh what's this i'm like oh, that's where you put your bag <laughs> it sounds fancy that's where you put your bag babes that's where you put your bag okay I'm packing these again because I'm going to do this video again for ticket talking. I don't know when, but I'll do it for TikTok at some point. Okay, and then I think I'm left with like two more stuff and then we're done. Also, I don't want to be late for lunch with my friend. Just take more whiskey up. There you go. What is in this box? My things didn't take long, Kesana, to get here. I remember I was complaining about like oh I don't know these uh delivery people how that works blah 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 I was just complaining for no reason because my things did not take that long at all <sighs> oh no more vlogging with the phone and silently that's good okay this is the vloggy thing you put on your phone Ugh, on your car. Yeah. I feel like everything is gonna swap up. I hope all it is. Eh, man, makes sense. Yeah. Everything. Oh, okay. But you put this here. And then you can vlog. You put it in the car and then you can vlog. This push should be able to do something. Ma'am. Trap, trap, scam. Okay, why would I take this off? Okay. Anyway, I'll figure it out. But you put this here. Really, as much as I can. There we go. Okay. I actually thought it had an extension. Like, I knew it could do this, but I thought after uh, it would have an extension so you can pull it up or pull it down. Uh -huh. Like, I know. But that's okay. Point is, no more vlogging. You put the camera like this anymore. So that was in this box. Last but not least. Yes, I don't know what else I need to take. Someone said eat vinegar also works, but I took vinegar and it did not work. But stomach some sea luma. <laughs> so this is Ipin. Oh, <laughs> against your car door and then you can let your receipt yeah oh tenga whatever a garage and then let your receipt let your receipt okay okay and don't if yes you want to my beam dog why is it so do i love to pull my garage because the garage is there again too 
But the point is, galo, she am intending to eat petrol. Okay. I'm intending petrol, okay. and then put my receipt instead of ba the last year. Then you have to give me. Ha 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 Anyway, that was my Fian haul. There's other things that I did order. My sister advised me to split the orders up for custom purposes so I don't pay huge amounts. So I got the car accessories out of the way and then I will get the other stuff later on which is just a couple of clothes pieces and with this order i got the dress i'm wearing at the wedding i'm not going to show you obviously because you need to be on the gram to see those pictures i think today i also look cute um do not be girls struggle to find pants i'll share a picture of how these pants look like on my instagram and they're very comfortable they're high waist and zinclemans are cute it's and they're from Mr. Price. And the shirt is from Mr. Price as well. So let me get ready. Put this together. Ah, Put all of these together. And then get ready for my lunch. Lunch is at 1. I'm not sure what the time is. Um... I still need to drive to town from Kailichi. Oh, I think this is enough. Another thing that could be here is um, you said it two pads. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well. Um, ne I feel like I need it. Ne? Nurofen, you le. Lim shop. Uh uh. Le. Naz, pilis. Yes, now go. Now the baby is okay. <laughs> so I feel like, I don't know, not all of them, but like, I feel like three is good and safe to have here. What I'm so selling to him for my ace. Yeah, boo. We can't. I'm selling to him. So I have those, I have pads here, then I can have like medication here. Maybe have some such. So this is just for period cramps. So that I am not in trouble. One, two, three, four is enough. Some grandpa. Yeah. That's a good kit. No, no, no. I don't think the makeup is gonna fit. Because I don't want to have too many bags. Yeah. Alright. Let's go to the nine with my friend, my mentor. So I look cute and I'm going to take some pictures um, by makeup I mean foundation and conceal I guess I'm, that's all I do and some highlight uh, what did I want to say I wanted to share with you with I'm listening to a different type different types of podcast and this one was from Go Christian Church Go Church SA on your podcast apps 
and Pastor Paul was talking about the importance of um, repute. The topic is called Reputation Matters and the, the difference between seeking validation from the world and at the same time understanding that your reputation does matter because you are still an ambassador of Christ. Ambassador of Christ. So it was a really good balance between um, not wanting praise and whatnot, but the Bible does say you shall win favor amongst um, God and men. So what does that actually mean? So that was interesting, but he was also talking about people who have lost their reputation based on things that they have done, things that they have said, and so forth and so forth. And I just thought about things that um, I am not proud of that things that I do or things that I say or moments where I haven't been proud of my behavior that might have influenced uh, my reputation um, or how people see me or how people view me. Uh, when people view you a certain way, that is on them. But when your actions um, that you are also aware of are not of good character or standard and therefore changes how people see you, then there's an issue. So I was just thinking and contemplating and thinking what are those areas in my life and how I will, how, how can that not happen again? It's one thing to be aware of your weaknesses, but the next level of maturity is preparing for times when temptation comes or when you are, when that challenge comes and you have to do the opposite. That's when character is, 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 is actually sharpened. So not preparing for those moments is actually just being dumb or thinking oh now I'm aware of it so when it happens I won't do it again or like I'm stronger now I'm grown now I'm more matured now or I have more experience now and so forth that's not a good plan that's not a plan that's awareness and I think sometimes you put so much emphasis on like know this know that be aware of this be aware of that but when you are aware then what what next so he was just talking about having a plan. So if you are struggling with your finances, it's not enough to just be aware of the fact that you're struggling with your finances and you need to save. Does that make sense? So what is the plan? If you struggle with um, uh, you know, like purity and when a hot man and whatever, what is the plan? when that happens when you see a hot guy he's asking for your number and you know and he wants to take you he wants to sleep with you essentially or whatever you know that he's no good he's just a one night stand type of guy and maybe it's your regular one night stand I don't know and he's calling you up but like you need to have a plan you can't just be like oh I know his tricks now I know his tricks that's not enough that is you being aware but what are you going to do practically on your side to prevent temptation to prevent yourself from sin but also prevent yourself from messing up your reputation as a child of God and being the best ambassador you can for the cross so I was just thinking out loud of those things because I'm enjoying watching podcasts now I didn't before not that I didn't but like I wasn't really paying attention to them and now I am Cramps, Lord, please, 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 Lord, please. Oh, I can't, I can't anymore. I didn't sleep last night because because of these cramps. I really need them to go away. Please, Lord. Oh, yeah, Even with the pills, nothing is happening. Yeah. Anyway, that's one of the things I wanted to talk about. To chat through. I'm almost there. I'm 17 minutes away. We hasn't said anything. And I hate that I'm always late. Well, not always. But like, yeah. I've been late to a couple of our meetups. Not cute. Also, I found a new artist. I found her like maybe three months ago. Her name is Yeva. Hey, there's cameras here somewhere. Jeba or Jeba, I don't know, but she has an amazing voice. I'm obsessed. 
Okay, I am at Sunny and Irene, which I've always wanted to go to. I just did not know where it was. And <laughs> now I do. Um, also, I need to reverse back and find my way to where I need to go. It's cute. This is my fit. These are the pants from Mr. Price. The top is also from Mr. Price. It's just shredding. Why? I don't know. And this is how I look with the white heels. Pretty. This is gorgeous. Okay. Oh, that painting looks so familiar. Oh, it's pretty. Uh, this side is fine. This is gorgeous. Thank you very much. So pretty. If you weren't making me talk. You need to do better for you. I look cute. I haven't looked cute in a minute. <laughs> you? Yes, me. I find it hard to believe. I haven't looked cute in a minute. I love that you're also not doing bread. Oh, trying to. I did bread yesterday, so I can't do it again. It's so hard to eat healthy at my house when you cook for everyone. I can't imagine. It's just a mess. I mean, I cook for everyone as well, but it's... That's different. I think yeah, it's different. Food is on board with being healthy. You eat whatever I put in front of you. Yeah. Also, the man needs to die. She doesn't really care. Yeah. She, she cooks so for her. <laughs> so I make pop every day. And I like <laughs> She'll eat whatever they I mean, I don't want to eat you, Whatever. How often do you cook? Five days a week. You cook five days a week. Pardon. And then my kids will go to mm, Yaki. <laughs> that it's yucky is not cute. I'm going to this hectic gym in Woodstock. Nice. Oh my gosh, it's killing me. <laughs> it is killing me. Partially why I didn't want to cancel today because if I'm working from home today and there's no reason for me to be in town, I wouldn't come this side. Then I'm not coming to Woodstock. Then I wouldn't have gone to gym. Is it, is it like a specialist gym, like a CrossFit gym? Mmm. Like a boot camp. Yeah. You die. But it's also expensive. Gym is expensive. I'm there on the like 14 day free trial. So they just did like a charity drive. You bring 10 kgs of rice and then you get 14 day free trial. Okay. And then after that you you pay, but it's just an insert insert incentive. Mm. Yes. Yeah. 
So, hi. I offered their prices yesterday. For two classes a week, it's 600. Okay. That's not normal. Don't say okay, Ganjalo. No, it's not the rent for the month for two classes a week. Two classes, just yeah. two. That's, That's not enough exercise a week. I mean, you do other stuff in the gym. You can go for a walk, go for a jog, that kind of stuff. <laughs> but like, can you still access the gym on the other, the other classes? No, because it's a boot camp, so you go to the oh, classes. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's I feel like I feel like if it was three yeah, classes a week classes. for six hundred, I could I could do that. But two classes a week, I'm just like, I'm sitting around for the month. Yes. So, no, that's good. I'm going to the gym eight times a week, eight times a month. No, but you, you, you can do other stuff. You can get another membership where you're just doing gym stuff. Another membership. That's more money. I know, but this is good camp. So you're getting trained by there's like a trainer that goes. Mm. Yeah. You have a habit tracker, and then you have to fill it in every week. He, she's asked me to cut down on my coffee intake, which is going to be oh, that's hard. Nice. Okay, so it's, it's totally worth it. It's totally worth it. And every week they look at your your form, like how you doing squats, how you doing things, are you doing them correctly, so you don't hurt yourself. Yes. And, and then meal also, planning so as well. The benefits. Yeah. So it's not just the gym, I get it, but like, oh, we are. Uh -uh. No, that is actually, that is worth having a personal trainer. It is like having a personal yeah, trainer. Yeah, for like a quarter of the price. How much is your personal trainer? Uh, like two eight a month. For two, 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 two eight a month. Two thousand eight hundred. Yes. Two sessions a week. Yeah. <sighs> okay, when you put it like that, obviously it's cheaper. It's definitely cheaper. It's a good deal. Um, I told my mom and she freaked out also. Uh, you don't tell her. She said, oh, but um, I got a good house. Don't be sure regardless. I'll see. I think it's worth it. And it's like you can do it month to month, right? Like tied to a contract. Six months. months. Okay, so you have to commit to six, six months at that rate. I think if you do month to month, it's like 700. Same classes, but because it's month to month. Oh. Do you know what you want to eat? eat? Mm -mm. Probably order. Yeah. Nice. I don't look that different, right? You do look no different. More. You look more like your sister. Everyone keeps on saying I look like my sister with my glasses. You look more like your sister. Um, she looks more like me. Uh, I only wear them when I'm driving and the weather's crap. Okay. And at night. Because then I can't see. Oh, yeah. Space. It looks good. It does look good. Thank you so much. Is that steak and prawns? Yeah. It's like lamb. Okay, it is raining. So my glasses are on. I only wear my glasses when it's raining and when it's night and I'm driving. Uh, that was such a good time. A good catch up with somebody I love and value very much. Uh, she hates the camera like she hates There's people who hate the camera. She hates the camera um, So you'll probably never actually see her on my socials <laughs> um, Yeah, so now it is time for gym It is time for gym not looking forward to it I won't lie to you um, But it's time for gym. Uh, she gave me some really good advice, but mainly um, Work she always gives good advice but like um she helped me with the questions i had about work and what i needed to get done so i appreciate that am i looking forward to gym absolutely not um and i wanted us to have a quick chat about housing buying a house so currently i am oh 
I am currently buying my house on uh, through the bank. You can do cash or you can do a bank loan, a bond. I am doing a bond. Uh, I am, however, paying for my own transfer fees. So you need to pay transfer fees to get things in your name, transferring from the previous owner to the new owner. Um, even if it was land, you'd still have to pay some form of transfer fees. They just won't be as high, okay? So those are the things that you have to be aware of. So apart from your bond, there's lawyer fees, transfer fees, if you're in, um, you know, rates and levies, all of those things. So that is an amount that you need to have, and it varies depending on how much your home loan is going to be from the bank okay that's one thing however with that being said you can include your transfer fees lawyer fees all of that within the loan that you get from the bank which is something i was not aware of so if let's say you're buying a one million rand house and your transfer fees are at fifty thousand rand so you can get a one million and fifty thousand um from your bank and then you use that money to pay for transfer fees that does mean when you pay the bank back your monthly payment your bond your mortgage will have those transfer fees included in my case I'm paying for my transfer costs myself so the bank installment won't be as high because they also have interest okay so that's one thing I, I was not aware of um, that I only realized later on because have I had known that I would have added it um, to my loan and looked for a bank that is still going to give me a low interest rate even with the transfer fees included so that the money that I have for transfer fees that I had saved up I can use that amount to furnish my apartment when I move in and that would make things quite easy and smooth um, that's what I would suggest doing. That is how I would have gone about it, which I didn't in this case. The second thing is it's either when you get your home loan, you get a fixed interest rate or in a fluctuating interest rate. What that means is depending on how the housing market is, the interest changes every month. So you pay a different amount every month. So the initial one might be at 11% and then maybe two months down the line, the housing interest rate goes up. So that means it affects your installment, your monthly installment as well. So it is advisable to get a fixed interest rate. That is my advice. As that doesn't change, whatever you pay now is the same amount you'll pay 20 years from now. However, if you get a fluctuating one, you that changes from month to month, year to year. And remember, a home loan is 20 years can be 20 years can be even 30 years you know um so it's very important to just check those things out be aware of those things um with that being said a fluctuating interest rate is cheaper okay because you can get it at a cheaper rate it can be 10 percent um which is what people tend to do because it tends to be a lower interest rate whereby if you get a fixed one the banks need to make their money so they're gonna make a fixed one more expensive because they don't know how the value of that market will be as time goes by and they need to make their money back essentially so no no machle, no machle. You just took the route with so much traffic. Ah, oh, okay, because I'm talking and I'm not looking. Okay, so I would suggest, in my case, I took a fluctuating interest rate, even though I want a fixed one. Okay. So I want a fixed interest rate, but I took a fluctuating one only because the interest rate is expected to drop by 2% in South Africa this year. You can do your research on it and you'll find that out, but it's expected to drop by 2%. So if let's say now my interest rate is fluctuating at 11.7%, um, it will go down to 9.7%. Then I can fix it. But if I fix it now, for the next 20 years of my bond, I'll be paying 11.7%. Does so that make sense? So that's something to be mindful of. I feel like if I wasn't aware of the drop that's coming, 
uh, in the market i would definitely have fixed it from the get-go because because i promise you now it's at 11 percent point seven in five years time it will be 14 or or a 13.11 so why not fix it now at the lowest interest rate and pay that amount the whole like 20 years of your bond because what happens is your salary will increase most of the time most likely that your salary will increase and therefore you can even put more into your mortgage into your bond and therefore finish it off sooner but when you don't fix it and you go with fluctuating yes it's low now at that 11.7 percent but it will go up it's almost guaranteed to go up um when it goes down it goes down for a little bit and then it goes up again in the next three four years again so i would rather which is what i'm doing now which is waiting for it to drop which i know it will well those are the predictions everyone is saying that it's going to drop by two percent even if it drops by one percent then you're 10.7 then you can fix it fix it there um so yeah that is the plan that i'm doing i think those were the two things i wanted to mention a fixed or a fluctuating interest rate as well as getting your transfer fees paid by your bank whoever you're going to be going with to buy your house instead of paying them yourself so that you can use the money or whatever you've saved up for a house towards your furniture those are the two things i wanted to mention obviously i'm not an expert i just am in this process and also this takes two to three months to be done to be transferred into your name uh so there's quite a lot and i'm a little bit impatient to be honest with you but it's going well it's going well so far yeah i really need to pee i badly need to pee and I just took the longest route known to man because I was on my phone vlogging. Guys, the traffic is so bad. I've been stuck here for so long. My class today was starting at um, 4.30 and then me and Clem moved it to 5.30, but I'm still stuck in traffic. I have like 18 minutes to go and I hate getting to the gym late because, oh, it's a white, white, dominant gym and i don't like being the black girl who's late i don't that's the truth of it i don't like it and i'm gonna be very late and i still need to change into my gym clothes wow Got here late, but gym is done. I'm done as well. <laughs> it was intense. And I didn't bring uh, my gym sh sh thingy shirt. And this is new from Mr. Fast. <laughs> but makeup comes off, ne? Yes, it will. Just handy in the end. Handy in the end. Let's go. They gave us sweets. Because it's Eid. I didn't have dessert for lunch. <laughs> you shouldn't be having dessert for lunch. Yeah, but then you, sugar. then you just come to the gym and they give you sugar. Did you not open it? No, I don't know what's inside. It's sugar. She told it, she's just teasing at this point. No, it's sugar. She told us yesterday not to not eat sugar. Not to eat sugar. And then it's a trap. Yeah, she's, she's trapping us. She she's going to eat <laughs> yeah. it. Ugh, it's a trap. Hey guys, it is um, just after, it's 18 past 8 and I did not sleep well at all just horrible cramps horrible horrible cramps so i did get stuff at the pharmacy and it's not working so i'm getting more stuff so i'm at clicks right now it seems closed in my casa um i'm just gonna wait it out a little bit and see how it goes because I'm eating healthy, someone said I should try Schweppes um, dry lemon. It has almost zero sugar, uh, fats as well, say so 9%. But then, Coke no sugar is actually better than Schweppes um, lemonade. Ah, uh, dry lemon. So look, all zeros, zero zeros, fats, sodium at 1%. And here, sodium at 1%, but sugar is at nine percent so this has more zeros than this so i'm going with coke no zero from now on
So the pharmacist says, they gave me this one, and that's the one I had in my pictures that everyone was telling me I should be getting. When I told her the one I got yesterday, she's like, oh, so you want the original one? So there's like fake meds and original meds. <laughs> Ma'am. <sighs> anyway, let me just go home. Can't believe I was here for this long. Because they only open at nine. This took me like eight minutes. It's 9.08 now. Not sure why I'm vlogging this part, but hey. Okay.